Hey, we have here an interesting problem from the UNSW 2021 integration B problem number nine. We have an integral from zero to pi, x sine x over one plus cosine squared x dx. I started by looking for a u substitution. It would be nice if we didn't have this x, right? Then it would work, we could do u in the denominator and then sine, but that x is in the way. What I wanted to notice is just the bounds are interesting with trig functions, and I was thinking maybe the, the King's principle might work. What we want to do is we want to do a u substitution, add the two bounds. So we're adding pi and zero, which is just pi minus x. And then we can also solve for x here, just shuffling things around. We're going to have x equal to pi minus u. Then we'll take our derivative and we'll get dx equals minus du. And then we can go ahead and make this substitution. So plugging in here, our pi, we're going to have a zero up top and then Zero there, we're gonna have a pi on the bottom. So it just kind of flipped our bounds, which is what happens, which will, that'll always happen with the King's principle. Then for our x, um, that's just gonna be pi minus u. Okay, then we're gonna have sine x, which is gonna be again a pi minus u over one plus cosine pi minus u squared. But instead of putting my minus sign on the d, I'm going to bring it out front and we're going to use that to flip the bounds back in a second. Now at this point, it actually looks kind of more messy than what we started with, right? Because we got all these, we got this messy input into our trig functions. But what we'll do is we can use the supplementary angle formulas for sine and cosine to transform these. So let's just take a look at that. Okay, so we have our supplementary angle formulas over here on the right that we're going to use. These are actually really easy to derive just using, like if you just plug in and use the um, angle difference formulas of sine and cosine, you'll get these results. So now I think we have what we need to make the substitution. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to flip the bounds with the minus sign, like I said. So this is going from zero to pi. And then we'll just have, okay, so we'll keep our pi minus u. And then sine pi minus u is just going to be sine u using that formula over one plus, and then our cosine pi minus u is gonna be minus cosine u. But because we're squaring it, that minus sign is gonna go away and we're just gonna have cosine squared u du. And then from here, what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna do a variable change. Because it's a definite integral, okay, we can use whatever variable we want. And so I'm gonna to choose to go back to x just because we're gonna get everything on the same page. So we're just gonna rewrite this in x. And then really what I want to do here, I'm actually going to distribute this sine of x and turn this into two terms. So let me just rewrite this again. Okay, and now what we want to notice is we've got this back looking kind of similar to our original integral here. We have the same denominator, we get the same bounds. We're in x um, and we have this x sine x term. So what I want to do actually, I think if we just add these two integrals together, we're going to be in better shape. So let me do something here. I'm going to call this integral i. Okay, and then we just transformed it, so then this integral has to also be i. So when we add this and we add this, we're gonna end up with two i. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now I've just added, we've got two copies, adding the first, the original integral to the last integral that we found. And you'll notice because we're all, everything's in x and we have the same bounds, I was able to combine this into just one integral. And what this is gonna allow me to do, x sine x minus x sine x, this term's gonna cancel. And then what happened is we kind of solved that original problem we have now because we don't have an X in this. Now we just have trig functions. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this and we'll just bring our pi out front. So we're going to have pi evaluated from zero to pi. Then we're going to have sine X over one plus cosine squared X DX. And now we're set up for that U substitution we wanted to do originally. And actually what I'm going to do is, we'll, I'm, instead of doing u, I'm going to do t just to avoid any confusion as we used t before, even though it would be fine. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call cosine, our t is going to be cosine of x, and then dt is going to be sine x dx. So we have that in the numerator. Then let's do the substitution, but let's fix our bounds first. So cosine of pi is going to be minus 1, cosine of 0 is going to be 1. Oh, sorry, I forgot a minus sign here. Derivative of cosine is minus sign. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna create that minus here. I'm gonna put a minus out front so that we're not changing this. So now that we have that, so but we still have our dt in the numerator, so we're gonna have dt over one plus t squared. 
And then we're gonna do again, we're just gonna use this minus sign to flip the bounds. Okay, so we'll just change the sign there like that. So we're going from minus one to one. And then we're ready to integrate. We know what this thing is. This is gonna be our arctan formula. So we're gonna end up with pi times inverse tan t evaluated from minus one to one. And then we can just evaluate those bounds. So we're gonna have pi inverse tan of one is gonna be pi over four minus arctan at minus one is gonna be minus pi over four. Minus times minus, plus, plus. And from here, just adding these together, this is pi over two. So multiplying, we're gonna have pi squared over two. But we're not quite done. One thing we just have to remember is this is two copies of the integral, okay? This here is two i, so then we just divide on both sides by two to get back to our i. And for our final answer, we're gonna have pi squared over four. That's it. Good problem from UNSW 2021. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.